Hey everybody, this short clip will show you another way that you can move your files from your H drive across to your My Site. Uh, we'll call this method the SharePoint Workspace Sync method and it'll also allow you to work with your files a lot easier going forward and have them sync directly to your My Site in much the same way as you would work with a product like Dropbox or Box.net or iCloud. So going to your My Site, up to My Content. Now again, as in the last video, you'll see that I have files and folders in My, my Site. You may have files and folders or you may not, no problem. Okay, if you click on Personal Documents, and then click on library you'll see again the library toolbar appears and this time there's the open with explorer that we saw in the last tutorial this time we're going to look at sync to SharePoint workspace what this will do is actually create a file directory on your laptop or PC C drive and it will contain a copy of all your my site files and as you open and edit and save your files they will automatically sync to your my site in SharePoint at Westmac in much the same way as I earlier said for those of you who use Dropbox or box.net okay so one click sorry one click on sync to SharePoint workspace Mine may take a little while because I'm doing this from home and others in the house are using my internet connection. So we shall wait. Here we go. You'll get create, creating account. And we will wait. And actually, I clicked on my little icon here that appeared. I'm thinking on your desktop, an icon will appear, this box will appear. So just go ahead and create a new account. Go next. Put in your name. Yeah. Sorry. Let me try that again. And your email address. And click finish. This will take a minute or two because what it's doing is creating a directory for you on your C drive. This could be your desktop at home or your laptop. And you enter your password and user credentials and you can see it's now starting to sync my personal documents to my computer and you can see I've got 10,000 files which seems like a lot anyway that will go on and download and take a copy of all the files you've got on your my site onto your local directory and I'll finish now and then I'll think about how to best do the next tutorial to show you how to work with them. Back soon. Bye.